Welcome back guys for we're on Tuesday of week two out here in Minnesota. Uh, today's plan, first of all, I need to apologize for you guys. I know these vlogs haven't been as cinematic and beautiful like all of the fun shots I enjoy doing, but it's because I'm only here for three weeks. We have this huge project going on and the whole reason I'm out here is to help these guys learn what's going on. So the priority on this one really is the work and getting as much work done as possible in the shortest amount of time as possible because I'm on a deadline. So I haven't had the chance to get out of the machines and run around with the cameras like I normally do so I apologize uh, the other thing I want to talk about really quick is I'm in Minnesota like I'm an hour hour and a half north of Minneapolis so it's not even like I'm in southern Minnesota I'm way freaking north let me just for those of you not familiar with geography let's flash to a map really quick so I can show you just how effing north we are in Minnesota and in the world right now and yet it's eight o'clock and it's already 80 degrees and we're supposed to get up like the 90 something degrees it's been in the 90s all freaking week I'm originally from Texas it's as hot as Texas up here in effing Minnesota what the hell Minnesota and now the biting flies are out too I'm really getting a, a great experience I'm, I'm like getting the full Minnesota experience this week so fantastic anyway all that to say today's plan uh, there is the possibility they're calling for rain late this afternoon right about in the day so whatever we do today we're gonna try to button up for rain the plan is we've got about 300 two to 300 feet left of our road grade back there in the back of the sub we're gonna cut that in then we're going to switch over to this retention pond right here and that is my big goal for today is to get that totally dialed in and done uh, and that gears us to where we can get that pipe over there in the ground uh, if we start running out of time with rain and everything my, my big goal was to show these guys how to do pipe work so we can at least do there's a pretty good run of pipe that dumps into that retention pond we can knock that out uh, assuming we can get that done today my plan for Wednesday it's Tuesday remember uh, my plan for Wednesday is to go up front and start in on those two retention ponds we have our second haul truck coming sometime today so we, I'm hoping we can jam those out in about a day um, which puts us into Thursday even if we have to use half of Thursday finishing those two out that's all of the land balancing we need to do in order to do all of our pipe work so that means you know the second half of Thursday or, or first thing Friday we hit pipe and for the rest of my time here we're doing pipe so that's the plan so that being said I'm gonna go jump in the machine take some drone footage for you that you actually saw last night because that's how this weird YouTube timeline works. Uh, I'm gonna go take the drone footage that you saw on last night's video and then I'm gonna go get in the machine so we'll see you in a minute all right guys so I've switched cameras around I'm sorry that you got the shitty camera on the uh, global view here but the GoPro has way better image stabilization and I've got you setting on a tripod at my feet so you can see the GPS screen I've had to get creative so that you guys can see what's going on we're gonna run down here in the road and check Carson's in the hoe I think and uh, we're gonna go see what he's got for road grade clean up that road and then we'll jump back up in the green belt. And I don't know how stable this footage of the screen is gonna be. We'll just play it by ear. So you can see I've got a horizontal offset for my right side here because like we talked about yesterday, we're having to cut her a little wide. Uh, and then you can also see I've got a vertical offset of minus 2.85, which is what we were running at. The finish grade on this one is set for top of asphalt. And so, um, so our undercut is technically three feet, but we're leaving it a little high just so, uh, like I said, if we get rain and it gets real snotty, we can we can scrape off that last tenth and a half so that we've got a nice clean road. Oh, it's going to be hot today, and there's not a whole lot of breeze. It's just going to be a hot day, and that is unfortunate. So you can see on this GPS, the reason I like it so much, I've got a top-down view, and then I've got my cross-section view, and I'll show you in just a second here. With the swipe of two fingers, maybe, there we go. It's a little slow. We can change our view. 
So we just have our top down view. This works just like a regular touch screen. I can pinch to zoom out. I can squeeze to zoom in. I can recenter on myself. We can double swipe again. And you've got your traditional GPS views with your top down view, which I'm gonna be using this a fair amount when I cut in the pond uh, because it lets me know a little bigger picture of what's going on. I do wanna show you one more thing. In this view, I can hold my dozer and go to layout and go right here to 3D view. And this is super handy. So we can actually rotate our plane here and you can see what the grades are doing. And we're gonna use this a lot. There's our retention pond back in here. We're gonna be using 3D view a fair amount on the retention pond to know how we need to follow the contours of that pond. So really cool stuff. I really like what Trimble's done with this. It's super, super handy. It's really user friendly if you know kind of generally what you're doing. If you're unfamiliar, these are um, these kind of replaced your light bars on a traditional system. Um, and that's what those are. That's how we know where we're at on grade. Uh, and this is the view that I really like because like I said, I can see my offset line here and where my blade tip is. Uh, but I also have my top down overview of what's going on and where we're at on the job. So that's kind of how I've been running this system on this job. And like I said, I'm gonna come up here probably on Saturday and spend a couple hours doing videos on really how to use GPS in general and then specifically how to do certain things within this system. And so I'm gonna start cutting over the crown. So this button right here switches. You can see my active blade tip is on the left side. We're gonna switch that to the right side with this button right here. And that way I can cut over the crown without the blade flipping the other direction on me. Right here for settings, our horizontal guidance. We're gonna select our alignment. And here it gives you our plan. We're gonna zoom way in so we know we've got our right line selected, which is back of curb. We're gonna select that. And because we're on the left side of the road here, uh, it's gonna be a negative one foot offset. So you can see we want it to go to that side of our line. And that's what this is to help you with. Hit apply. And now you can see, we scroll over here. We have our shoulder here. If we zoom in, the teal line is your original existing and the red is the offset. And that's exactly what we see here. The blue teal, uh, the teal dotted line is our existing and then we have our red offset there. So now we're set up and we can make our passes here. And again, the first beep is me engaging, the second beep is the system telling me that it is caught great, and then that beep is me disengaging because I'm getting heavy and I don't want to dig with the blade. So now that we're over past our crown, so this line right here is our crown. Since we're all the way over, I'm gonna switch my blade tip and that way we don't start getting uh, weird stuff happening with our blade because of the valley gutter over there. guys we have found ourselves back in the hole because Carson's dad came to hang out for a little bit he's gonna run the dozer and play around with the GPS and we're kind of at a decent spot for him to do that so we got the off-road truck hauling to this lot off here to the right 
Um, come to find out, we thought that one was relatively close. Uh, it needs like seven foot of fill. So anyway, um, that's where all of our material is going currently. Because that's a fair amount of material that needs to go in there that we didn't know needed to go in there. Well, little, little nudge. So it's 11 o'clock. I think we're gonna be able to knock out the road by lunchtime, which was kind of my goal. And then we will move over to the retention pond, which Ryan has actually been working on that retention pond for a while um, with the Komatsu. He's got the rover to check grade for himself, um, which I'm really impressed with Ryan in all honesty. He, he is just, he goes and gets it. He, he, I have not been instructing him a whole heck of a lot. He's, you know, I give him kind of a general game plan and then he makes it happen. And when he runs out of stuff to do, he goes and figures it out. And so that's been really cool. Um, but anyway, he's over with the Rover and the Komatsu, basically hollowing out the bowl for that retention pond because we did need material around the edges. And so instead of trucking everything around, um, he's getting what he could with the Komatsu and then when we go over there we will start pulling material out of the hole that actually needs to come out of the hole. At the Airbnb, we have a dock in the water where our Airbnb is right on the lake. And uh, I got a call from my wife that my older dog, who likes to swim and dive for rocks, dove for a rock and popped up under the dock. And it's one of those metal lattice work docks, and he was stuck. The fun experiences that you deal with while you are on a job working, it never stops, guys, and it's not even just on the job stuff. It's also, you know, what's going on at home. We don't have that much fill left back there, so I'm gonna kinda gingerly throw some material out there, and then hopefully Carson's dad will clean up in time that he can pop up there and let me know where I'm at with the GPS. This is not going to take a whole heck of a lot more. Footage, whether I'm in this or GPS dozer we will get you the triple cam. It occurs to me he has my lunch in there too. Dang it. Carson's been getting a little narrow on the road, so to help his dad out, I'm gonna try to dig her a little wide. That also allows the spoils from the top when we're doing the boulevard section to spill into the road without us having to go back and recut the road at all. Although with this being nice sand, I don't know that they're gonna make us bring in uh, or cut it out. So this is it guys, this is my life for the foreseeable future. I'm gonna finish loading this truck with you guys and then I'll flip the camera off and we'll save the battery for later on when I can get back to my drone and we can give you some triple cam footage. At least that's the game plan. And again, I apologize my my vlogs on this job have not been as fun and inter interactive, if you could even call it that. I'm not going to be able to reach the other side. Um, like I said, you, you can kind of see what we're doing. There's a lot of jumping around. There's a lot going on, especially when you're the hoe and the GPS dozer, which are the two machines I've been floating between, are the two highest production machines. The GPS, you got to be all over to know what's going on, 
helping guys understand what they need to be doing in their machines and then your shape and everything so you're you're all over the place and then obviously when the hose not moving that's lost production so there hasn't been a whole lot of a time a whole lot of time for you know when my batteries go dead to walk myself across the job site to get more batteries and there's not really room in the cab for me to have my lunch and my camera bag in it so that is why it hasn't been as fun and i'm sorry but it is what it is all right guys i'm gonna flip the cameras off we'll catch you guys in a bit all right guys welcome back so we are officially on the retention pond <clears throat> So I figured I'd show you guys kind of what's going on. So this is where I like to switch over to uh, the classic view coupled with the top down view. So my top down view is going to show us what's going on here. Our cross cut is going to keep us online and this is going to show us kind of what's going on in front of us. Another thing that's going to be super helpful is uh, swapping over to this guy right here so that we can kind of see what's going on. So if I rotate us around, you can see that we're starting to pitch down into uh, down into the retention pond here, so that's what's gonna happen to our grade. So we're gonna keep that on 3D for now, because that's gonna be pretty helpful. And look at that, go figure, someone's calling. And it's Colton. Yes, sir. Uh, I would take it back to that house pad up here for now, because that's gotta come up like another four feet all right let's get back to it now that we are not you know on the phone all right so as you can see we're right about great off of the left side we're still well let me let me get down so there is there's grade right there so we're gonna dial it in and you're gonna see what happens oh there's our pitch so we're starting our cut onto our slope we're gonna slowly with gps you got to go slow when you're going across and transition points because the hydraulics need time to respond and so now we're just gonna ride this line right here and I actually want to change my blade tip because I want us to stay on this slope here and you can see my right blade tip is roughly right at the top of that slope you can see right here and we're just riding this slope Unfortunately, a lot. So that, I think it's gonna have to be loaded up to the top. So we'll do that. We'll start pushing up towards the top here. My main goal here is just trying to get some shapes going so everyone can kind of see the general contour. Since I'm in the GPS machine, everyone needs to be able to see what's going on with the general contours in this retention pond. Yeah, that should get me where I need to be there. Pretty dang close. In fact, I'm gonna take some of this. By the way, GPS does work bag dragging too, but it's just like a regular dozer. Obviously, if you overpower the system, it's not gonna be able to pull as much as you need it to, so use your discretion. And now I can cut everything so that it falls downhill and it will give me nice, clean passes. I am going to select my other blade tip because I'm creeping up on this edge and I want to cut right up to that edge, but I want to continue carrying my grade of the slope. Uh-oh. Our drone's gone rogue, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know when that happened. So I tell you what, we've been recording for almost 20 minutes now. That's probably long enough for this segment. So I will shut the camera off. I'm going to keep shaping at this. And I'll, uh, I'll hit you guys here shortly. All 
right guys another late one so we got all but the last i don't know 50 60 feet of the road done but that was intentional uh it's not that we were just slacking and didn't get it done uh we had to fill a house pad back there that i didn't realize was low so we didn't want the haul truck going over our road our clay grade obviously because it would pump it so we left that high then we jumped up here to the retention pond and we made good progress i was really wanting to get that one done today but i didn't realize how not close that was uh we were under the impression it was relatively close and then i catted the dozer over there and it was like nope not at all so but we made a big old dent in it so that was today and then we spent the last probably 45 minutes we had the haul truck running to that house pad in the very back um ryan and i we took the dozers back there and knocked down all of his spoils so that house pad probably needs another lift bringing up another foot or so and then that ought to be pretty dang close sorry a little dusty so anyway that's kind of where we left off for the day so very busy day very productive day and we're gonna do it all over again tomorrow our second haul truck did not show up unfortunately i'm hoping tomorrow that gets here awful early because we need to move some dirt uh, we still have a fair amount of material that needs to come out of this uh, retention pond and then we've got the two up front that we gotta dig so things are going to happen quick and we need the trucks to move so i can't think of any other updates oh i'm sorry i didn't get you guys more footage this afternoon in the dozer uh unfortunately my gopro i gotta go home and figure out if the gopro stuff working or if my aftermarket non GoPro official batteries uh, just decided to die on me but they just flat out stopped working my last two batteries just nothing so I gotta go figure that out yeah we're gonna do drone footage in the morning sorry guys it's late again it's like 7 15 so I'm going home we'll catch you guys tomorrow